guys, it's Roxy with Roxy's Broadway Breakdown. Welcome back to my channel and oh my God, lots of scoop from Broadway this week. So Patti Lapone giving up her equity card, walking away from Broadway. And here's what she writes on Twitter. Quite a week on Broadway, seeing my name bandied about, gave up my equity card, no longer a part of this circus, figure it out. The article also goes on to say, likely referencing an incident at Hades Town. So I'm not going to get into a lot of the drama that went on and what's been being talked about going on at, at Hades Town, that incident. But what basically happened is a performer at Hades Town stopped the show and called out a woman that she thought was recording the show, but really it was just a captioning device because the woman's disabled and can't hear. There's been a lot of backlash against that performer for doing so. She's a woman of color. And so there's been like, you know, an argument for, you know, doing that and stopping the show and this and that and the other. Um, Patti Lapone's name has been invoked um, because Patti Lapone has been doing this for decades, like stopping the show and calling out people for doing things like this. Like when she was in Gypsy, she called out a photographer for using flash photography. Actually, he was there supposed to be taking photography for the show. She didn't know that. Um, she, when she was in an off-Broadway show, she actually physically took a phone from an audience member because they were using it. Most recently, uh, in a Q&A session after company, she got in a bit of a Donnybrook with an audience member because she was like, put on your mask. And he was like, I don't have to. And she's like, yes, you do. And they went back and forth. And he was like, I pay your salary. And she's like, no, you don't. The producer pays my salary. So she's always been known for sort of these confrontational things with audience members. Um... And so, you know, everybody's kind of been saying, well, Patti LuPone's been getting away with this for years. Why is this performer from Hades Town, you know, getting so much backlash? Anyway, like I say, I'm not, I'm not getting really into all of that. What I am saying, going to say, is that when people do these kinds of things, um, you know, people know not to take flash photography because it really is dangerous to cast members. I mean, we're up there and we can see it and it does blind us. You know, it, it is dangerous for us. Um, people know not to bootleg because it's illegal. It really, bottom line, it's illegal. I know people argue and say, well, you know, that's the only way sometimes people can see a show or get glimpses of a show and blah, blah, blah. yeah, there's a lot of arguments there. Bottom line, it's illegal. Um, and as far as using your phone during a show, even just to text or, you know, like check your phone, that's annoying to everybody. I think that's just flat out rude. So, you know, I think that these people that do this are asshats. And the only thing a performer has accomplished by stopping a show and calling them out is making them chastised asshats when they leave. Because at the end of the day, there's dozens and hundreds of people that are going to keep doing this at every show, you know, at lots of shows all over the place. And what are you going to do? Like stop every show, every performance and keep calling out all these people? No, that's ridiculous. You can't do that. I mean, I've, I've seen people doing distracting things with their phone or, you know, bad things with their phone. And I've never thought to do that once. You just keep going. So, but I get it also from a performer's point of view of, yes, that is annoying and that is illegal and I don't like you taking my picture, I don't like you distracting me, or that is dangerous. And so I get, I get the need and, you know, that you want to do that, but I also am like, just get over it and just keep the show going. Anyway, I think... Patti LuPone, um, you know, she conjures up very strong emotions. She's one of those performers that, like, you either really love Patti LuPone or you're like, you really don't. I happen to love her. I do. I love her as a performer. I love her voice. Um, so I'm kind of sad to see her go. I, it's not like we'll never see her perform again. She may. Um, it certainly doesn't affect her TV and film career because she has some projects coming up. 
She also did mention that she doesn't like um, Actors Equity Union. She thinks it's like one of the worst unions and that it doesn't protect its actors. Um, and that a little known provision, like if you ever do want to perform on Broadway, you can just pay nominal dues to cover your contract and be in a Broadway show. Okay. Um, you know, I don't know that that's fair to like Sally Sue, third dancer from the right, who's been paying her dues all along. And then Patty Lapone comes in and gets a huge salary. And, you know, here this girl's been paying into the pot all along. And then Patty just swoops in and covers her contract. And there's like, there, you know, I make more than you and I'm paying less than you. Patty would be like, that, no, that's not fair, but what's fair? It's show business. And yeah, figuratively and literally, I have been paying into the pot. I have paid my dues. I've been in this business for decades, and I'm a three-time Tony Award winner. You know, once for Evita and Gypsy and most recently Company. Um, so say what you will about that. I mean, I don't know. Um, but yeah, life's not fair, so get over it. Anyway, there you have it. That's what I have to say on the matter. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. Subscribe to my channel. Check out all my other videos, and I'll see you in the next.